I'm Greg Moles, and at day two of the MHSAA Girls Golf State Finals, we begin with Division Three on the Forest Acres East course. Let's start at the par 3 11th, and it's the senior Lauren Posey for Big Rapids knocking in the birdie putt. The Cardinals finished in 14th place. Moving to the 6th, the junior Carly Van Dynen from Whitehall makes the short putt. She finished in a tie for 7th individually with a 5 over 77. The Vikings as a team would end up in 11th. Next, let's check out Grand Rapids Forest Hills Eastern on the par 3 8th. It's the sophomore Haley Curry making the par putt. She came in ninth with a six over 78. The Hawks finished the tourney in seventh place. Flint Powers Catholic came into the finals ranked fourth in division three. The senior Jolie Brochu on the seventh knocks in her par putt. She also finished in ninth with a 78. The Chargers finishing in a fifth place showing. Bloomfield Hills Cranbrook, the fifth ranked team in D3. Back to the eighth, and this is the freshman Sienna Illich getting the 15-footer to go in. The Cranes finished in fourth. Grand Rapids South Christian was second in the state heading into the finals. Here it's the junior Ellie Bolkema getting the puck to go in for par on the seventh. Then it's her freshman teammate Ashley Tomasma on the eighth. Saving par, she shot a 75 to finish in third. Sailors as a team also finished in third. Another freshman making noise at the finals was Lauren Timp from Macomb Lutheran North. She shot a one under 71 to finish second individually. The Mustangs also finished as the runner up with a team score of 327. Bloomfield Hills Marion was gunning for its second straight Division III state title. This is the senior Lauren Sass with her second shot in the par 4 10th. Gets it within 15 feet of the cup. She would end up making par on the hole. Sass shot a 79 and Marion wins its second straight D3 team title. It feels awesome. It's awesome to be two time champs. Super awesome to be, win with a team like this. Super good camaraderie. The story of this tournament was the race to be medalist. Grand Rapids Christians Ryan Breslin in contention for the top spot. Here on the 10th, the senior makes the shorty onto the par 3 11th. And here's Breslin on the tee. She gets it on the green, but has a lengthy putt for birdie. Now on the green, Breslin almost knocks it in for the bird. She would tap in for par, finishing with a two under 70. Good for the clubhouse lead. Shannon Kennedy from Marion was going for her third individual state title in four years. The future Michigan State Spartan here on the par 4 ninth with her second shot gets it within 15 feet of the pin. Kennedy was a shot behind Breslin going into her final hole of the day. She has a birdie putt on the par 5 16th to force a playoff and it drops. Her friends and family are loving it. Kennedy and Breslin both finishing at two under par for a tie for first place. So they'd go to a playoff to decide the medalist. Kennedy holding nothing back as she blasts it off the tee. Now she's only 30 yards away from the green for her second shot and gets the pitch within 10 feet. Breslin close to the green, but this is her third shot. She gets it close to the cup, but still needs to make her par putt to stay in it. She has an eight footer and just misses it. So Kennedy has two putts to clinch it, going for the bird. She is just short, but then taps in to win it. Shannon Kennedy winning medalist honors for the third time at the Division Three State Finals. This is the best feeling in the world. This one uh, definitely had more drama to it than uh, the previous two. So uh, it was really, really exciting. Definitely my favorite one. It's surreal, I mean, Winning it in a playoff, I mean, Ryan's obviously a really good player, but uh, I fought to get here and I'm, I'm really excited. 